Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from On Earth Films. This is American Guinea Pig Blood Shock. This is the second one in the American Guinea Pig franchise. Uh, these are basically the American versions or the continuation of the Japanese uh, franchise, the Guinea Pig films. There were six movies that were made in Japan. They had pretty infamous kind of uh, torture. Some are uh, fake snuff and just bizarre, weird films. Uh, they have a huge cult following. Uh, Bureau from uh, On Earth Films picked up the rights. Uh, I believe to uh, the Japanese franchise and then he decided to kind of do an American style franchise of it. I think it's a pretty cool idea actually. Uh, the first one was uh, American guinea pig bouquet of blood and guts uh, and it was directed by Bureau and special effects by Marcus Cook. Uh, Marcus Cook actually puts himself in the director's seat for this one uh, and uh, this isn't Marcus's first go as a director. He did the movie Fell on 100 Tears and uh, some other low budget short movies uh, what was it Bad Blood which is an older film Film, and uh, a snuff film I can't remember exactly it was like a snuff anthology so uh, Marcus has worked on several uh, films several special effects movies and done a lot of a lot of good work so uh, I was excited to see this one uh, and uh, you know sometimes a torture film a movie with a lot of torture can get bland get boring uh, that's definitely not really the case here uh, essentially what we have here is a uh, Dan Ellis uh, who's from gutter balls and a bunch of Ryan Nicholson movies is the star of this movie uh, he's unrecognizable uh, he looks completely different than he's ever looked before. Uh, Dan Ellis is a pretty great actor. He's usually the best actor in the Ryan Nicholson movies. He stands out, very memorable. And in this one, he does a really good job, a really good performance. Uh, he basically is, has his tongue cut off and he's thrown into a padded room. Uh, then he proceeds to be tortured uh, and his blood seems to be extracted uh, for some sort of a drug, maybe a high-induced state of stress, a blood becomes some sort of drug kind of reminds me of something like I come in peace where people are you know harvesting people's uh, blood and uh, body parts for a drug uh, fueled states but uh, what gets interesting about this movie is it, it, it's really uh, the black and white kind of gives it a nice style makes it a little bit more artsy makes some of the shots really memorable but that's not really the most appealing part to this movie besides the great special effects which they are amazing looking uh, there's kind of a unique storyline here uh, where somebody starts sliding him letters in between the walls and about halfway through the movie I thought that it was going to take a one turn that probably would have lost me but it took the right turn and I was I was vastly impressed with it uh, what happens here is this sort of strange uh, relationship between the two people in the wall and they have a bond because they're going through the same torment uh, what proceeds is uh I don't want to spoil anything, to be brutally honest, but the doctor and the two orderlies, you know, are, are kind of the uh, the bad guys in the situation, if you will, and uh, there ends up being uh, some violence, some extreme violence, and uh, a unique scene where the color comes back into the shot, a very memorable scene, uh, and it kind of makes a statement. It kind of makes you wonder exactly what is going on. The end does uh, keep, opens up some of those doors to the questions you have, and uh, as the special features kind of went into depth, they talk about this movie's kind of uh, uh, open for uh, interpretation. So, so everybody who sees the movie is definitely not going to see the same thing. I have my own, you know, ideas of what's going on, but most of it's a mixture of what a lot of them said. I, I would agree with a lot of the stuff that the people in interviews said. But yeah, uh, Bloodshock is a movie that, uh, well, it is a torture film, but there is a kind of a love story in there as well, and it makes it unique, and it makes you actually kind of like these characters you pull for these characters and also what I will say is a uh, it's not your typical uh, generic torture in the movies they use these old crazy tools these uh, weird bizarre tools in the movie that I've never actually seen torture implements that I've never seen in a movie which uh, I can appreciate I guess seeing a lot of horror movies a lot of gore films uh, Marcus's effects are great and uh, at him being the director he knows how to shoot a special effect to make it look good and not corny I'm sure that a lot of special effects artists are driven mad by uh, how a uh, director shoot their uh, special effects and make it look bad uh, that's not the case here Marcus knows how to shoot special effects because he's been doing them his whole life and uh, the special effects in the movie are great there's a lot of memorable uh, visual stuff in here and uh, for the most part the acting's really good too especially from the two leads I think that they steal the show uh, because they really can't emote with voices or they have to emote with their bodies and, um, and emotions in their face and I think they do really well uh, yeah but the set design's good uh, and everybody's pretty good at it the, the main doctor's pretty memorable uh, <laughs> just kind of comes off really sleazy and good at it 
and uh, you know I recognized uh, Albert as one of the orderlies or Alberto and uh, yeah it was a it was a pretty cool watch I watched both the commentaries on there they both uh, all seem to have a good uh, working relationship with each other and they seem to have fun in the commentaries uh, there's a, a 40 minute interview with Dan Ellis and the other actors had like a 15 minute interview I said the two commentaries there's a 90 minute making of I watched all this stuff and uh, I was thinking I watched all the stuff on the blu-ray and I was like that was a lot of special features they crammed this sucker in there put in the DVD realize there's interviews with everybody else and the deconstruction of Bloodshock. So this is a super loaded disc. I was impressed uh, uh, by all the stuff on here. It has to be one of the most uh, stuff cramped on a disc ever. Interview with director and producer. Everybody's on there. They got everybody. But uh, yeah, I, it was a pretty cool uh, release actually with a Blu-ray, DVD, a nice booklet with art editor uh, notes, liner notes in there, and a soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack's kind of cool, uh, kind of a uh, creepy droning style, the brrr, stuff like that. Uh, I think Jimmy Screamer Claws worked on it. Uh, he makes great movies as well cool music but yeah i'd say check out bloodshock if you like those kind of extreme films it's a uh, it's 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 better it's it's not i want to say it's better but it's different than your typical torture film torture plays a major part in it but there's another side story going on in there and uh it does attempt to look kind of like an art film or it, it looks kind of artsy and uh that's kind of cool a lot of unique stuff to look at and uh the eyeball uh gag scene in here the uh, special effect in that looked looked real to me i couldn't i couldn't really see the seams i know i know how i did it by just talking about it and stuff but i don't know all the details i know it was a prosthetic overword but it looks really good uh yeah so uh pretty cool stuff uh you know, um, it's, it's different from anything that Marcus has done before. It's not a hundred tears. It's not fell. Uh, but you know, it's somewhat in the middle of those movies. It's kind of fell like an artsy kind of slow burn. Uh, and, uh, hundred tears is a splattery good one. It's splattery and it's artsy, but it's neither of those movies. But, uh, yeah, that's Bloodshock. Check it out. I think that people will dig it. Uh, nice release from on earth films. Very impressed with their packaging. I'm kind of, uh, these, these deluxe editions are pretty cool. They did one of, uh, Atros and, uh, Francesca, but, uh, yeah, I'm Mr. Parker. Have a good one.